Hi everyone. Okay, I'm a little late on this video. Um, just life on the farm has um, kind of gotten in the way of getting this done quickly and I kind of got distracted. So um, I want to talk about Amazon's Prime Day deals because there are some things in here that I think would be helpful for you guys being uh, seamstresses or makers or whatever. Um, hopefully you can get at least one day of shopping in. So uh, Prime Day deals are July 11th and 12th and um, I found some things that I thought would be helpful. Um, now some of them are not directly sewing related but I'll explain why um, I added these. So number one, um, there's a Black & Decker iron. It's a cord real iron with non-stick sole plate. Now, um, I love the cord reel because it keeps your eye, your cord pulled in and not you don't have to wrap it around and or it gets loose and it gets it's hanging everywhere. So that's a good feature. This has an auto shut off and lightweight. I personally avoid auto shut off irons for my own reasons. Um, and lightweight, I don't like lightweight because um, when I'm pressing if you have a lightweight iron you're doing the pressing I use a five pound iron which has its own weight it can press itself so this is a black and decker cord reel iron with non-stick sole plate um, if you if this is something that you like perfect you know I'm not selling I'm not trying to convince you to get the things that only I would buy um, everybody has their own needs so I'm just gonna present some things to you guys and you make your decision okay there's the Omega steam iron um, rapid heating ceramic coated sole plate um, clothing iron with adjustable precise thermostat dial self-cleaning auto off it holds almost two cups of water um, and depending on the color the price changes and then you have a Sundu a digital LED screen ceramic coated sole plate, anti-drip, self-clean, and a three-way auto-off portable iron with four preset steam, steam and temperature settings. That's a lot to say. Um, basically, it's an auto-off, anti-drip, self-clean. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you, check it out. Okay. Now we have an ironing board. This is the kind of ironing board I love. I don't have it now. I used to have one. I like a long ironing board and one that's wide and the one that has the metal stand that's separate from the actual ironing board. Because as seamstresses, we um, don't only iron clothing, but we iron yardage of fabric so I like it long and wide to be able to have a lot of uh, to be able to cover a lot of the fabric at one time so it's not so time-consuming okay so that's the Bartonelli Pro Luxury Ironing Board adjustable height foldable steam iron rest next is an office chair now what I like about this office chair and why I prefer it is I don't know if I don't know about you guys but when I sew I start sweating my back is sweating it's just I don't know why I'm literally just sitting down and I sweat so bad so um, I used to have a chair that had the mesh on the back and the mesh on the seat so you could see through the seat to the legs of the chair and the floor but because when I sit I tuck my legs under me a lot like if I'm sewing my right foot's on the pedal my left foot is under me and that mesh is rough on my ankle so I prefer to have a soft seat so um, and it's ergonomic it's adjustable so that when you're sitting for hours and hours it's it'll be better for your back okay this is an over-the-door organizer and the reason why I chose this is because I live in 288 square feet and organization is everything so I like to try and organize everything and if possible organize it behind doors so I don't have to look at it so I thought this would be nice to have even if you had this 
like on a wall next to where you're sitting, everything's organized and everything's right here at hand. So you don't have to get up and move to an, another part of the house to get what you need or another part of the room. Now these scissors, it's just a scissor bulk set of five multi-purpose sharp sewing craft scissors. It's just nice to have a few on hand. You can have one in your sewing room, you can have one in your office, you can have one, you know, in your wherever, in your kitchen. It's just nice to have scissors in every room so that you're not running back and forth to get what you need. This is a pack of three presser feet and they are um, three pieces of wide hammer foot, hammer, <laughs> hammer foot uh, kit is the half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch presser feet. And they are compatible with Singer, Brother, Baby Lock, Euro Pro, Genome, and more. So these are the snap-on version. Now these, I don't have these. Um, I've been tempted to get them just because they're so cute. But I feel like little fingers that come in my house might also like them. So yes um there are a hundred of these in a tin for seven dollars and twenty cents that's pretty good so and it's plastic so i might just have to get some or at least put it on my wish list sewing machine this is a i don't know if it's utin or utin portable sewing machine computerized embroidery uh 200 built-in stitches and eight buttonholes this looks like a nice basic sewing machine for someone who's just starting out. Um, if you guys have not seen my sewing machine videos, um, check it out. Um, it kind of shows you what you might be looking for in a sewing machine um, if you're beginning because it can be overwhelming when you have so many choices and what is all this and you look at all these stitches and you're like, oh my gosh, that's a lot, when really it's not a lot. So. This is a good one for um, a beginner. And here's another beginner. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. It's a sewing and quilting machine, computerized, 200 built-in stitches, LCD display, and then you can also use a twin needle in it. So that's pretty cool. I think this is one of the most important things that you can think about when sewing that I think a lot of people don't think about is when I worked at the men's shop, um, a lot of the ladies would sit their seat really high and their machines low and then they hunch over their machine which causes back problems and neck problems and I prefer to lower my seat so that I can keep my back straight but because I was younger than them I didn't have to think about my knees so I would sit low do a whole stack of something get up go and uh, press everything so I didn't have to get up so much but these are the things you think about. If you set your desk, if you set your chair low so your back is straight, you might have issues getting up because up and down from the machine on your knees might be hard. So when I moved to Montana, I put a shelf up. It was about this high when I'm standing so that I can walk up to my machine and sew, turn around and walk to my ironing board to do my pressing and come back. There's no pressure on my knees. I put a mat down so that it's kind of soft under my feet. So combining an electric standing desk with your office chair, you have a lot of flexibility. How high you want to sit or do you want to sit at all? Do you want to kick your chair out and stand your desk up so you can stand up? And so it's a lot of flexibility. I think it would just be really helpful um, depending on what you're dealing with that day. Your, your legs hurt that day, so don't sit in your chair. Stand up and sew. So just something to think about. Um, I When I was sewing a lot, I was getting um, tennis elbow. So my mind is really um, attuned to like things that might cause more stress on your body. So get your er ergonomic chair, get your adjustable desk, and you're pretty flexible. Okay, this the only reason I put this ironing board on here is because basically it's short and you can hang it. So not short in height, but short in length. So maybe you don't need a huge ironing board. Maybe you're a crafter or you're, um, you're you do piecework, and this 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 ironing board has this technology 
this fabric, a four layer pad, and it has an area where you can move your iron to and it doesn't burn it. And it sounds like you don't have to tilt your iron up, but just leave it and this um, zone doesn't get burned. That's what it looks like. I don't own it. I wouldn't want one because it's short and I want a long ironing board. But this is kind of cool. It's a, it's a patented technology. It's really cool. And then um, for the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is I don't know about you, but as I get older, it is really hard for me to um, sew without hearing something. So because I, I have what what I call, and I, I'm sure a lot of people have it, is this dual processor. Okay, so you're sewing and this dual processor is it's like I call it a second brain that just is always thinking and always like wandering and and it's hard to settle down and and get my work done even for videos even the things I love to do so I went and I got a trial period of audible and why do I choose audible because I would listen to stories on YouTube but they have so many commercials and so you would I have to stop and then you know like get past the ads and, and stuff like that. So I thought I'm going to try this because I had it before and I loved it. There's just so many books. Um, my favorite being Dean Koontz. So I've got to go through all the Odd Thomas and then all of his other books. But um, it's, it's really nice to be able to turn it on. You don't have to worry about the ads. You don't have to worry about having to skip anything or whatever. And, and if you miss something, you can always just tap it back um, or just replay the thing later you know so I'm going to leave a link in my description box for that um, there is a I think you get a two-month free trial and then there's a special I think there's you get an, you get one credit per month and then if you have Amazon Prime I think you get two credits per month so I get the two credits per month I just finished um, Brother Odd which is a really good book and um, yeah, it just makes sewing so much easier so that that dual processor is pacified with the book going on. So, um, yes, I will leave those links in the description box. I hope you guys like this video. Hope you find it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.